Hi everyone, welcome back to Google Guru. Uh, we've got an exciting update for you today. You're looking at the brand new Google Apps control panel. Uh, this is only available for new Google Apps domains right now. So if you want to check it out, go to google.com a and uh, you can just create one of these free mygbiz.com accounts. But here's the new dashboard. Um, you can see you've got some different elements. One of the coolest things about the new dashboard is that it's customizable. So one thing that we'll want to drag in here for sure is Google Apps. Let's go into a user profile here. So you'll see it's a uh, user profile is much, much improved. I think you'll see some kind of vital stats at the top here. Docs created um, or sorry, docs owned by this user, uh, mail storage used and their last login time. You can quickly edit the user's profile by clicking on profile. And this is kind of a consistent user experience throughout the new control panel is that when you click on something, you'll get this overlay on the right hand side where you can actually edit. And one important thing that I should have mentioned at the beginning is that there are actually no new features in this control panel, a uh, new version of the control panel. It's just a new user interface. So you click on profile and this is all the, the same options you've had in the past to change the password, uh, enable contact sharing, do nicknames and more. Um, the issue with adding a user to groups is still less than ideal, but you'll click edit group membership and then you'll go to the groups list and just as in the past, you know, this page is not aware of where you came from. So you'll click on a group and say add users to group, but it doesn't know that I came from the user profile for Andrew. Uh, this is cool because you weren't able to add a user to a group uh, from this list in the past, but you still can't add a user to multiple groups at once. You can see if I select two groups, this is grayed out. So that's unfortunate. Uh, you're still gonna have to look to, you know, third party management tools to make that happen. And this is this is really just the groups page itself that, I, that I'm in right now. Um, and then you'll notice when you go back, it just takes you back to the dashboard. So I've, I've found that to be a little frustrating. Um, let's go into, or sorry, back to the user profile. One more thing to show you. In the top right hand corner, you have a number of quick options to reset password, add the user to group once again, rename the user, move to an org unit, or delete the user. Uh, the concept of org units is uh, very sort of downplayed in the new control panel. So you can create a new org unit from here, from here but there's no uh, you know homepage icon for org units. So next, let's go into company profile. This stuff is really uh, you know all the same settings that you had before. Once again, there's no new features. Groups. We've already looked at this, but you can click into a group. Um, and you can manage users for that group. You can see this is just the same screen that you had in the old control panel, but it's kind of reskinned, and you can change nicknames for that group. Uh, billing mobile devices, not much has changed there. Domains, not much has changed there. Let's go into Google Apps. So if I want to click into Calendar here, I can change all the different settings for Calendar, and you can actually change uh, settings for a particular org unit, just like you can in the old control panel. If I want to change um, who this is enabled for from this page, I can do this. And then if you want to view org units from this page, you click on filter. So I, I thought that was kind of strange. You land on this page and um, in the past, sort of org units have been very obvious and present from this kind of view, but now they're not. So you want to click on this filters button in the top right hand corner. And then you can select multiple services and say, you know, I want to turn them on or off for everyone. So that's about it. I think, uh, you know, the general message is that it's, it's much more simple and it's customizable. Um, and there's actually no new features. So uh, I'm, I'm interested to hear from everyone out there if you know you think this is a good update and um, I'm curious you know what kind of companies this is going to be useful for and, and which ones might prefer the old control panel or prefer to use just a third-party management tool to manage their domain. 
Uh, thanks a lot. A little bit of a long video, but it's an exciting update.